hello and welcome to another episode of uh, how to defend in Dungeon Defenders. This time I'll be doing uh, forges, uh, foundries and forges, sorry. Um, this map is pretty easy, it's just a very lengthy, so uh, for what it should be, it, honestly. Um, I am doing this on Nightmare since like I am level 74 on most of my characters, so might as well get it done and out the way because I haven't unlocked survival. However, you should use the same strategy that I'm about to on survival. Um, yeah, so uh, you want to place two archers in all of these little bits here. Unfortunately, um, you won't have enough for this side, so I'm just gonna swap to a different character. Make sure that this side's defended as well as it can be. So yeah, I'll just speed this part up. Okay, so now that's this wave done. Uh, pretty simple. I know that if you were doing this on Nightmare, you'd have far less uh, mana, but you can just build. You should have enough to at least get one more archer down and swap into a monk uh, to then plonk down your aura stack which is the electric, ensnar, and uh, strength drain, that's it. Because you don't, like, you do not need to um, have mages and stuff like that placed down so soon. If you can place down the auras, because they just slow them down and kill off most of the weaker enemies. Oops. Like the goblins. You only really have to worry about... Uh, if you're on Nightmare, then it's really only the uh, Jinns and the Ogres. And Sharkins, I think, maybe? But nothing more. Okay, well. Sort of done with this character now. We'll go back to it eventually. But yeah, I'll speed up this around and... Uh, yeah, so I can show you how, what more to build. Okay, now that's another another round gone by. Um, I mean, this defense is practically sorted out at this point. So let's just plonk down the buff beams and the reflector shields and that's basically all you're actually gonna need uh, you will have some defense units left over which I'll show you what I tend to do with those and um, I tend to place tr uh, five more archers in total uh, usually like so. The one there. And then I just choose like a random side will have to just unfortunately have one archer, but that'll be fine. Like so. And then swapping over to you. You just want to place down these uh, uh, not you. The poison trap and the fire one. I'm not sure exactly what they're uh, called. Um, but yeah, and then once you've done that, that is the whole defense set up, really. And it's just wait a waiting game from then on. Yep, there we go. And then you just sort of Unfortunately, I have to wait quite a while for everything to go by, but again, gotta upgrade your buff beams first. They are definitely the most important thing to go for first. Then auras, 
then traps, and then the mages. That would be the order I would do it in, personally. That's... Because the auras will be... Well, just loses HP, unfortunately, and may break. Which is kind of annoying. I wish uh, there was a way to, like, automatically get them healed, but, uh... It's, they're not m quite minions. Yeah, that's basically it for this. Uh, there's not much more that I need to show. Uh, so, yeah, hopefully this helped you out. And if it did, uh, well, I'm happy for you. But uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.